and I fed him, and I made him go bathroom. Boop. So, I'm making not everyone wants to go back to sleep, is a thing. Just like, just sleep for so long. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make some pancakes. Making yeah, bacon yeah, pancakes. pancakes. Mm. I've never had bacon pancakes, but they honestly sound I bomb don't as hell. Want to, TBH. It sounds yeah, well, TBH. Yeah. So we're all back, yes? That yeah. sounds like some quitter talk to me. Fair enough. <laughs> you don't need to put butter on the thing, you just use the grease, make it nice and tasty. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we're all back? Yes. Alright. Is Rebecca here? Yes. Who the hell's Rebecca? Oh, Fouls. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, introductions may or may not be made. Um, I don't think so. So, did you guys discuss any particular battle plans, or...? Uh, yeah, they're kind of freaking out. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how spells work. Ah. I think I... freaking out's ambiguous. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I think, I think we're mostly going to say it like medium range in case we need to chase after them. Stealth and hide in the corner and see what the fuck pops out. And maybe light a torch or light a rock. We're kind of deciding that one. Yeah. Fair enough. Dude, Rainy's, just just kind of, suffering. Rainy's just kind of chuckles. Do you always stress so much? Hmm? Hear that, Tango? I'm going to sacrifice their souls for your growth. <laughs> I'm only mildly terrified. Okay, that's uh, that's comforting. Right. You're fueling a cute kitten. It's okay. Worf. He's, yeah, he's not even like me out right now. He's just like just chilling. The thing is, if you tried to sacrifice me, your cat would have to fight my cat for my soul, probably, because Finn's a fighter. <laughs> Hi. Well, no, your character, not you. Oh, cool. I'll kill people. I'll kill people. That's crazy. I have to say that for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> so, you guys get. Uh, talk it over, talk each other about uh, capabilities and such. Uh, if there's nothing else anyone else wants to do... Yes? No? Maybe so? Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. I have an idea. Hmm. Yeah? Um... I'll spit okay. it out. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, mm -hmm. if you Don't give me... Uh... If you I give believe me... that's what Twizzlets do, yes? If you give me... 12 minutes I can um I can set something up in front of the pit that will tell me when they or at the beach or wherever you guys think I should put it alarm spell oh. yeah <laughs> yeah fair That'd be by spell. all means Okay, does that make a loud noise, or does it just alert you, though? I, I can make it do both. It depends on what you want. Okay, Probably so just if it makes a loud noise, stuff. it might scare them off. Okay. So uh, you, uh, where do you prep the alarm? Like, the actual alarm spell? Where do you guys want it? Where do you think would be best? You're the wizard. I if you put spells. it near the, if you put it near the shoreline where the water meets the sand, you might trigger the alarm any number of times the crab walks onto the beach, perhaps a bit further up. I believe you can designate small creatures and such a knot. Tandem doesn't people. know that. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know that because I've never tried. Oh, well now you know. Yeah, you oh, don't. you as a character never tried it. Well, then shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good point. You can probably figure out while making the spell. <laughs> I'll just put it, like... Because they have to come from the water. Mm -hmm. Assuming they do the same thing they've done the previous two nights. I'll, I'll put it, like, between where I think they're going to come from and um, the little pit that we have. Okay, so Sounds to like get close to the pit. Yeah. After you guys. Yeah. I am it's only good. here to give you enough rope to hang your. It seems wise. I think you're out stressing out a little bit too much about this. You're going into Marshall. Well, it's, well, it's very easy. You live or you die. Well, that's very comforting. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Great, okay. So, so Samuel, 
uh, ritually casts the alarm spell. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you? You guys want to do anything in tandem with that? Or then obviously the trap and the torches and such? What time is it just now as well? Is it starting to... It's probably like it 3, <laughs> so 3 p.m. Okay, maybe not set it just yet then, because the spell only lasts like eight hours, right? So how, like, do we know, is it at sundown when they first come up, or is it like... Um, the guards report in the middle of the night, not like immediately at sundown. Okay, so maybe we should set it up maybe closer to midnight? Mm hmm Because otherwise, if they don't come up at midnight, or it takes them a while to get to trap, it might have been eight hours by then, and then it's not going to be, you know... So I'm going to be alerting us. Mm -hmm. Alright, fair enough. So you delay the alarm. Preppage. Mm. Preppage? That's a word. Preparation. Prepping. Preparation. If it you. wasn't, it is now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tango is just mystifying me. <laughs> he's, he's not so, meowing. Uh, he's just so content. But yeah. <laughs> A question then for everyone. If if we can determine their intellect by this relatively obvious trap, what is our game plan? Are we simply observing what they do, or are we striking if the iron becomes hot? I want to get as much info as I can from them. Not like interrogate, but assuming that they're dumb enough to fall into that. I at least want to get a what if they're general smart enough reading to not on fall? what they are. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to. If they're just... smart enough to dodge it, then we exterminate them. The further away from the water they go, the better our odds of capture. Yes, yeah. And how much flesh would you believe being to sacrifice for your information? How much what, sorry? How much. Flesh, would you be willing to sacrifice for your information? Flesh. Uh, my own? Like, like or... my flesh? I think they're talking about the security of the hostage, in this case. It seems likely these things will try to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping we can maybe do it on the down low. So they're not I'm aware sure that of... will work out just great. Uh, yeah, well. If the pit plan doesn't work, then you guys are going to have to... Or oh, make Do no something. mistake, the pit is not intended to work. It is a, the, yeah. It is about ankle deep. Mm. It is. It would be a mild irritant at best. Yeah, just to sort of gauge. I don't. Yeah, just gauge their like I said, I don't have anything to really stop them. I, mean, I have some offensive spells, but. So are we decided then? We observe and see what they do and I think return. That would be, yeah, see what the they are first. Attack tomorrow yes. then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys got the plan. Yeah. All right. Then allow me to accelerate us. And sounding off an alarm of some sort. Allow me to put us to sundown. So, 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 sundown happens. Do you guys bother setting up camp or are you guys just go to stick it out for the night? Um, I'm quite happy just to stick it out. Yeah. yeah Sounds like happy. right there. Yeah. 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 Sounds right there and the outpost is right, their watch post is right there. So. We could go to the watchtower and eat Have chili. more fucking chili. Yeah. <laughs> you guys refused his hospitality. No chili. No. Oh, no, I'm feeling open to the chili now, I feel. Now after a day of standing Now there's chili the outside, you want chili inside? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just... I've got some you awesome. didn't hear that, Tango, but Dad just got mad at this player because he made a dumb joke. <laughs> it's okay, though. He died. He died for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a Yuila sit on the unlit torch at the beach, and if she notices something in the water, I want to have her uh, fly toward the outpost and notify me. Uh, do owls have dark vision? They do. Okay, make make note of that. Oh, peace familiar. 
<laughs> Good dark vision. <laughs> um, okay. So, then, you guys hiked out relatively safe, but not safe. Safe but combat ready distances. You guys wait. Uh, you cast the alarm spell um, before, we'll say a bit before sundown. Still safe, but it will last the longest. <laughs> and you wait. Simple as that. Just wait. I think I hear meowing. No, it's not meowing because okay. Tango has my finger in his mouth, so like it's impossible. <laughs> He's a ventriloquist. Uh, how far are we? Are we from the? How far are we away from the trap just now? Are we at a fair distance up where in the bushes? I mean, if you guys are up, like trying to hide on the slope, I'd say you guys are probably like 120 feet. Okay. Perfect. Uh, how coincidental! I... That happens to be the distance for my spell. <laughs> I get it. I will lit my hooded lantern, which will burn for six hours. Uh, a little bit after sundown, and I will uh, bring down the hood so that it casts dim light in a five foot radius. And two hours in after sundown, I will have uh, uh, Yuila come and fetch the lantern and try to light the torch. When she sees something. Okay. Do you have Since like a, a stat line for Yuila? I do. It's a standard owl. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just making sure you have like that ready because what yes. ends up happening is probably got to roll to see if she effectively does it. Could an owl pick up a lantern? It can. It has talons and a beak. I mean, eagles can catch wolves and eat them. Mm. It, it's a pretty big owl, too. It's twice the size I, of a human head. I heard um, that in Alaska, children have to walk in packs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's It's real. a PVE-enabled zone. I don't know if it's real, but it sounds very funny. Jesus. Doesn't it, Tango? That episode was fucking good. Children anyways. getting killed. That sounds pretty funny. Anyways. <laughs> so. Are you going back to sleep? Okay. Sleep there. Fine. That's fine. Got the keypad. Um, but yeah. You guys just simply wait it out. The dead of night, quote unquote. It's a bit, I guess, awkward to just sit in silence or whatever for the night or having just a few passing marks. But obviously, mm -hmm. your trapper is waiting for your trap to get sprung. At some point of high moon, you guys do begin hearing some break in the waves. Not of waves crashing against the shore, but of people wading through it. Can we see how many are down there? From the silhouettes emerging from the water, you see two. Two, okay. So two. I'll sneak a peek through Yuila's eyes. 120 feet dark vision. Okay. You see two figures. A relatively simple attire amidst the darkness. Uh, as a person that's actually looking through their eyes, you recognize their clothing as something, I don't know, colonial, provincial. Straightforward. Nothing particularly... They're not uh, armed or armored or anything. They're just sort of slowly um, wading up, or stepping out of the water. I'll whisper this to whoever is near me, uh, and then I'll have uh, you, Willa, try to light the torch with the lantern. So you always all hear Tanum make these, uh, or declare this information, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me dexterity for you, Willa. Should be a bird's highest stat, I think, personally. I'm pretty wrong, I'm playing Cajun. R.I.P. Edgar. It, it, it was his highest stat, is the problem. Yeah, yeah. He just rolled about that good. <laughs> Unfortunately, Yuila does not light the torches. She does a flyby attending to, but she misses it by a few inches and just sort of flies through and past. 
And the two figures stop. I see this bird with a five foot dim light lantern shoot by. And they both just stare at it as it flies away. I'll have it fly the opposite direction of uh, where we are and up and let's perch on the cliffside. It seems they lose their attention or they drop their attention on it as it goes farther and farther away pretty quickly. And then at that, they look to one another and then continues emerging out of the water until finally they are entirely landside. So no part of them is in the water. You guys do not have light down there, unfortunately. Do too. Yeah. Uh, the alarm spell is obviously triggered and such. But I think you guys already sort of knew that they were there just from your own observations. So I've got some torches. Should we like distribute them, light them, and go down to the beach? I. I mean, as long as there's enough light to see their silhouette, I just say we follow. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather they didn't know the... where we were. The torches will be pretty easy to spot in the dark. Hmm. Um. Can all of you make me stealth checks? Yeah. Let's see how. Oh. All right, off to a grand start. <laughs> That's just um, the skill thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, just the stealth skill. Do I just click it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I am consistently rolling low. <laughs> Alright, RIP Varric. <laughs> you, you went back to... Oh, you little fucker. <laughs> oh. That's fair, though. Hmm. He's on my desk now, so now I can easily pet him. Hmm. Disturb him from his slumber. Uh, anyways, what if he just falls asleep to the sound of D&D? That'd be so crazy. <sighs> I guess the soothing tones of battle. <laughs> oh my. I mean, the fact that you have a plus three in stealth in the first place, that's respectable. I mean, <laughs> even still, it's like... It's yeah, garbage. You're wearing heavy armor, you have the damage. Yeah. Mm. Roger, roger. The creatures do not notice you, but they do notice the trap. Uh, quote-unquote trap set before them. Mm-hmm. Um, what's your guys' passive perception? perception? Type it in chat. Don't don't decorum at me once. I'm going to forget. All right. I'm not going to remember. 13, 14, 13. 15. 13, 14, 14. 13, 13. Okay, so a lot of 13s. Varric included. So, Sandra and Rainies, you guys here... Actually, I could just put you in a whispers chat and tell you there. Sure! Adventure! <laughs> Alright, so you two. You hear um, the two figures talk to one another. Um, I'll describe the uh, silhouettes of them again to the group, but just for clarification sake to you two. Um, the silhouettes of them move to the trap, and they lean down into it and begin... One of them begins, like, pulling out uh, one of the uh, carved spikes that Tandem carved. Mm -hmm. And you hear the one of them, the one picking it up, say to the other one in this harsh, gravelly tone, Such a waste. This could have been used for much more. Some warmth. I even made a good pull. Oh well. Real shame indeed. The other one responds. Hmm. But yeah, that's what you hear him say. Cool. Is it possible to make my ice spear again? <laughs> With the pot of water you have, you could. Perfect. Sweet. Right. Time to murder. Yeah. Uh, let me move you guys back so I can re-describe mm -hmm. the thing to them. 
We all passed the cell, didn't we? Okay, so we're about to find out. The rest of you, you guys see the one of the figures, the silhouette, because you guys really make out the detail of them for that well and such. You see one of the figures lean down into the pit and pull out one of either a rock or one of the uh, spikes that you carved. He pulls something out of it, one of them. And then uh, a few moments pass and it lets it go and drops it back in. And then the two of them begin making their way down the coastline back towards uh, Drift Weaver's Bay. Right. Slowly but surely. Like, they, they walk in a reminiscent manner of, like, a drunk person. Like, it's mm. very, like, barely coordinated, shambly, swaggery. Alright, um... Are they going away from where we are, or towards... Away from where you are. So the headlands is one side, and then down the coast, way down the coast is Drift Reavers Bay, on the other side. If you imagine, like, a spectrum. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so away from you. Uh, I, I tap... Not Kirsty. Shit, what's your character's name? You said it was... Wise. Oh, wise. 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 Uh, wise I, the wizard. Wise the wizard. <laughs> the, wiz the wise wizard. Anyways, uh, I tap them to get their attention and then tap the side of my head, like... Because you were mentioning you had a spell, correct? I was what, sorry? You had a, a spell for, like, messaging? Or was oh, yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, weirdo. How do you know how message works, bounty hunter scum? <laughs> she She's the one that said that she has a, a spell thing. Come on, Django Fett. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Does it go two ways, then? I thought it just went one way. It go two ways. Yeah, you can respond. Oh, okay. You can respond right. to this message. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do that, and I'll just point at you, then. Right. Uh, I, I have a communication begins. Yeah, mm. I say to uh, message everyone that there's intelligent. You, you could actually say this in character. That might yeah. be better. That's that's what they say. It's just like they're intelligent beings. They know it's a trap, and yeah, just spread that around. <laughs> they're not stupid. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. In that case, I'm just gonna point to everyone individually and just repeat that. Until I've sort that, of gone through everyone. That they're intelligent enough oh, to yes, figure out that the trap. Yeah, they're intelligent enough to figure out it's a trap. And yeah, we should be careful. I'll, I'll whisper to Sandra. That much is obvious. Mm. They were also oh. talking. <laughs> they said... Boo, boo, boo. Mm. Stuff along oh. this line. I, I whispered you can't, this stuff. No, you, I can't. You're not allowed. Okay, you're sure. not allowed to copy paste shit. But I like copy paste fucking, shit. <laughs> stuck in sucks. I fucking hate that, dude. You okay, can okay. You break it through your own filter of voice, or you don't tell them at all. Sure, sure. They were saying it was a waste of ut not utensils. What's the word I'm looking for? Waste of resources. Yeah. Okay. So put it the waste of. Yeah. Yeah. So hmm. I'll just say it was a waste of resources. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they were intelligent and, like, talking to each other and shit. Oh, oh, okay, I didn't hear that part. Mm. Okay, yeah. So I'll just say they're intelligent, they can communicate, and they're saying it was a waste of resources, so yeah. they know that we're out here. Pretty much. Somebody's still on to Basically. What, lang what language did they speak? Uh, Garth is presuming common? Go yeah. for presume correctly. I... Wouldn't he tango? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't they chat? Okay. Point back, it was in common. Mm. Doop, 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 doop. Oh no, oh my goodness. Well, if the threat is human, that is pretty straightforward. Oh, no. I say oh. we oh, no, baby. follow them. Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> did, did baby mm -hmm. fall off table? Baby fall off table. No! <laughs> no! He, he freaking ducked into like a gap of blanket and came out the other end. <laughs> He's so loud. He is so loud. Getting angry. Getting smash. Ignore him as I put my finger in his mouth to shut him up. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's. Never mind. He, he wants to suck on something, that's why. He doesn't have a mama. There you go. No, don't go over there. No, stop. Dusty over there. But yeah, do you guys, what do you guys do in response to this uh, newly acquired information? If the threat is human, I suggest we follow it. 
and mm. capture it. I see no reason to wait. Well, perhaps we should just talk to them. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. If the is a waste of life, surely getting gutted would not be a good idea. Alright, we'll have out some of us go up and talk to them and others stay back, hidden in case something happens and then we can just sort of jump out and surprise them. Or something. I like that idea. Yeah. Because you know, so they know Yeah, because if they know somebody's out there, they don't know how many of them there are, so if they do turn violent, we could quickly surprise them. Maybe we should get going instead of talking it out up here. Yeah, they're taking uh, a step by drunken step back. Yeah, to, let's let's like, go. Get by okay, okay. I'll just follow along. If we're doing some talking, I will put away my bow and draw my swords. Okay. So who's... Pick quickly. Who's the diplomacy party? Who's going up? Who's staying back? Who's going? Okay. I'll accompany whoever's talking. That's one. I can, I can go. That's for two. Technically, uh, all of you can go. I don't care. Nope. Um, I, being the healthiest person seems <sighs> wise to let me get hit instead of the squishes wizards. Yeah, I'm I'll stay back. <laughs> yeah, I prefer fighting at a range. So well, as as we're walking up there, I'm going to cast mage armor on myself. Mm. Okay. Ah. Excellent idea. You told them that you were a spellcaster. <laughs> I mean, what? to me, there's no indication that mage armor is active at any point in time without like a perceived like uh, specific like. You you can mm. see it, but like overall, it's just like an invisible force field. That's how I interpret it. Mm. But like, if someone like has decent perception or knows your have like your mage, they'll probably be able to just like pick it up pretty quickly. It's not Quinn where you're suddenly like glowing yellow. No. Some fucking Witcher reference got here. Mm. So, uh, we have two. So, I'm a chill at the start. back with the other wizards. Yeah, saw it. Yeah, so two wizards and Gunner. And we'll say Varric stays back there too. Versus, versus, you're not, I, yeah, the, yeah, PvP time, with, along with. Diplomacy party of cleric, fighter, and one of the wizards. Gotcha, gotcha. Do you guys to the diplomacy party? Well, the, multiple questions. First off, flank party. We'll say because mm -hmm. uh, if you're flanking them, uh, how far behind do you flank your uh, allies? I would like to keep the. I'm gonna say opposing party, which is enemies, in quotation marks, like, within 30 feet, is that possible to still be stealthing, or is that, like, I'm basically just standing on the beach at that point? I mean, yeah, no, there's there's no, there's nothing on the beach, yeah. so you can hide behind your fellows and pray to God that they don't notice you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll have the uh, Yuwila fly above us. <laughs> but I, I still need to, an answer <laughs> for, for the rest of the flanking party, how far behind? All right, you two uh, wizards, I'm just staying at whatever distance you decide. Okay. Yeah. My short is 40 feet. Or 15, because that would be our cone. Yeah, because I've got two more spells, one of them 60 feet, and the other one's 120. So yeah. I can go quite far back, so it's... Yeah. I'm quite happy with 40, though, if you just want to stick to that. Um, I can... I don't know. I don't know what's best. <laughs> Well, um, just because they exist, honestly. Yeah, that's I like. Yeah. That's where so they're from. All right. Some so... shady motherfucker. That's yeah, people don't just walk out of the water every night. <laughs> yeah. I'm down to so... just hang back. I do have yeah. a, a long range spell like yours, so mm -hmm. if things okay. get messy, I can cast that, or we can run forward. So yeah, what's okay, the number so... I'm here? Under? 60? 40 feet? 40? 60, 40, 60 I think it's fair. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. 60 sorry. feet it is. Okay. So mm -hmm. you're 60 feet behind the enemies or 60 feet behind your own people? Behind the enemies, preferably. 
Okay. So, yeah. Roger, roger. Uh, diplomacy party, do you make your presence known? I'll follow Rainey's lead. Who's doing the talking here? Is it me or your friend here? Greetings, friends! <laughs> the, okay. two figures, the two figures stop in their tracks and turn around. We've been looking for you. It's good to see you. Are you guys from the town? This harsh, gravelly voice speaks. Uh, no, we're from, uh, across the pond, pretty far away. Do you have yeah. any food? They say, like, walking up to you, slowly. We might. What does it need, friend? Do you have any fish? I'll look at the other two. <laughs> I'm not the one that keeps up with supplies around here. No. I'm not disappointed. Why is there none to catch? They shake their heads. We've been trying, but something's spooking the fish. Are they close enough to where we can get like a decent look at them yet? Did you guys light torches? Oh, I mean, as I, I okay. As soon as like you can see the silhouette, it's just fine. I mean, I can uh, like. I'll have the. Uh... You will try to pull up the the hood on the lantern and descend a bit. Well, I'll ask him like, uh, I can't really uh, can't really tell who's talking. Do you guys mind if I um get a light real quick? Sure. I'll uh, like. It's cold. I'll just like pass it on like my ring. <laughs> Uh, so we know what it does. Uh, let me read it, read it. It's, uh, uh, it's 20 feet. Okay, okay. And you have the uh, 60 foot, 30 foot radius above this one. Does, yeah, does the hooded, for that, for the hooded lantern, because hood lanterns, I thought that like that you could aim the light. Is that how it is, or, or is it just like you could pull off the entire That's... hood and then? Uh, it's you it's point... no. You're looking for a bullseye yeah. lantern. That's different. Yeah, oh. a bullseye lantern unless you point it. Ew, I'm drunk. Not really. Uh, hooded lantern is kind of like you just you don't want it to be obvious that you have light, so you put something over it. Okay. Okay. My bad, I got that misinterpreted. Yeah, it goes from a uh, very bright to a five foot dim light. Okay. Um, if that's the case, then uh, we'll say this happens simultaneously. And let me do something real quick here. So this happens simultaneously, so you cast light on the ring you have on your hand, and the owl um, manages to pull off one talent with one hand. Talon? Claw? Feet? Whatever. Talon. Sure. Uh, the hood off the hood lantern. And now it's sort of revealed to everyone simultaneously. Uh, the figures that you are talking to, these ones speaking to you, uh, they are human. Uh, they are human. But there's a catch to them, is that humans are not normally made out of stone. Which mm -hmm. is what these guys are. And, um, well... Um, no. Oh, no. Maybe... Illegal. No, no, no. <laughs> it's fully legal, I, I assure you. Um, it's fine. You can it's... tell shit's going down when he has to stop and restart Estonia. <laughs> exactly! Um, two...